Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another ravishing review. Today we are looking at the Full Metal Mayhem match between Jerry Lynn and Rob Van Dam uh, from TNA Bound for Glory 2011. Meltzer gave this a three and a quarter star rating out of five. Essentially, what you need to know for this, um, Jerry Lynn and RVD have been feuding for a little bit leading up to their match at Destination X, where RVD goes over. Uh, they were cool after that for a bit, um, and then kind of out of the blue, Jerry Lynn turned on Rob Van Dam, saying he was tired of living in Rob Van Dam's shadow, uh, a storyline uh, that both these men have used in feuds throughout their careers. ECW chance fill the arena as we get underway to nobody's surprise. RVD using his quickness to gain the early advantage. RVD goes for Rolling Thunder, but Lynn quickly gets up and hits a drop kick. I like this counter. Back and forth for a bit until it looks like Lynn tries to cross body RVD over the top rope, kind of like a uh, um, kind of what you know Mick Foley does. Um, but they don't make it over, so. So RVD just falls on Jerry Lynn. It it it, it popped me. I was like, Jesus. Um, but we're on the outside now. RVD goes for a moonsault off of the guardrail but misses. Lynn pulls out what Taz calls a big-ass ladder uh, out from underneath the ring. RVD pulls a chair out, but at the same time, Lynn baseball slides the ladder into the chair of RVD. Back in the ring, RVD hits a crossbody onto Lynn, onto a steel chair for a near fall. RVD takes the chair, hits a basement dropkick right into Jerry Lynn's face. RVD Irish whips Jerry Lynn into the ladder, and then he falls with the ladder on top of him. Sets up Rolling Thunder perfectly for RVD. Uh, Jerry Lynn dropkicks a chair into RVD's face and throws him onto the ladder. Jerry Lynn goes for a leg drop from the top, but RVD moves. Um, and Jerry Lynn just eats all of it. It did not look good. Lynn hits RVD in the head with a chair, uh, then a German suplex for a near fall. Jerry Lynn tries to suplex RVD onto a chair, but instead RVD suplexes Lynn onto the ladder, hits a lion salt on Lynn on the ladder, um, but somehow Jerry Lynn gets up pretty quickly. He didn't no sell it, but he got up quicker than he probably should have. Um, he hits a diving side effect out of nowhere. Um, he pulls another ladder out and makes a ladder bridge with the apron and the barricade. Lynn hits a sunset flip over the top rope and already catches only a tiny bit of the ladder. Um, when he when his feet came over for the sunset flip, um, Jerry Lynn's foot bumped the ladder out of position. Uh, so RVD mainly hits floor on this, and it did not look good. Uh, Jerry Lynn grabs a chair, swings at RVD. He misses, hits a Van Daminator. RVD puts a ladder in front of Jerry Lynn's face, grabs a chair, goes to the top, hits a coast-to-coast, -coast, Pins and wins, so doesn't win with the five star um, per the huge. Um, but I'm gonna give it three and a half stars out of five. Uh, this is pretty exciting action. Um, not their best match, but this was a good RVD Jerry Lynn match. Um, there were there were some slip ups here here and there, um, but I thought the match flow worked really well for what was happening um, and. It, it's it's just great to see um, talent being used appropriately. Um, <laughs> I'll let you take that for what it's worth. Um, but go but go check check this one out. This is one of the better uh, matches on this uh, 2011 bound bound for glory card. It's definitely worth a watch. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Check out our social media links in the description. Be sure to tune in to PW Wrestlecast, the premiere professional wrestling podcast every monday live at 7 p.m on facebook thank you for watching and i'll see you next time for another ravishing review